Hi, I'm Lola Aneke and I welcome you to Speak Dial on Finding Out with Special Needs. American Speech, Language and Hearing Association has declared the month of May as Better Speech and Hearing Month. And for that reason, today's topic is engaging students with communication disorders online. Online speech therapy, also known as telepractice, involves using technology, webcam, headset, microphone to conduct speech therapy for, for students with um, communication or speech disorders. Thank God our laptops, our phones, our tabs have um, what it takes. So you have the web on your phone, you have, most they have the headset and the microphone. So having a separate one might be optional. It's actually optional if you have a good webcam on your phone, on your laptop or on your tab. Most importantly, you also, uh, you also need to have good internet service. Now, therapy practice can be either live, recorded or both. Depending, firstly, on the level of functionality of the child you are working with. And secondly, the availability of internet. Now, I'll quickly define what communication is to us and I'll tell us what a com communication disorder is. And that will lead me to speech, definition of speech, and then definition of language. Now, communication is a process of sharing information from a sender to a receiver and it involves a tool it involves tools and a tool can either be speech and language or both speech and language now i'll take that again communication is the process of sending and receiving information from a sender to a receiver using the tool and that tool is speech and language so when you say communication disorder that means there's a break in the transmission or from the side of the sender or the receiver that causes there to be a disorder in the communication. Now remember I said the tool is speech and language. Speech is a neuromuscular activity involved in the production of oral language. So for example, cut, it, the, the sound, the word cut is a word, okay? And it involves a neuromuscular at the muscles and the speech helpers and the neuron helps to form the word cat. It can also form the word lola tick. So that is speech. If there's any break or a disorder in that formation of the sound, oral oral language or the sound or speech, that is what speech disorder is. So if there's any disorder in the formation of oral language, either by the neuromuscular activity that is involved in that, that is speech disorder. Now, what is language? Language is a tool of expression, okay? It's a tool for communication. So we can have English language, we can have Spanish language, we can have French, we can have Yoruba, we can have Igbo. Now, if there's any misuse of that language, if it's not being used properly, or there's any break in the code of language, that is language disorder. So for us to engage our children with speech and communication disorder, we need to be very prepared. Using telepractice, you have to be very prepared. So I've told you the tools you'll be needing. You need a good internet service, you need a good phone, you need a, either a good phone or a laptop or or a tab. And then of course you need, which is optional, you need headset and a microphone. So you need to really be prepared if you're gonna practice um, online speech therapy, also known as telepractice. And what is the preparation? You need to have someone at the other side, like, a, like an assistant to you, whom you will learn to collaborate with by communicating effectively what you plan to achieve with your child or with your client. So there must be someone depending on the age of the child. Okay. Now you must also have your resources. Usually visual aids work better in teaching individuals with hearing and um, speech impairments. 
okay so you need to have your visual aid you need to have your own and also have one have one prepared for your assistant who is helping the child if there's any you also need to know that one of the best strategies for teaching students with speech and communication disorder is the discrete trial teaching and discrete trial teaching is an applied behavioral analysis technique that involves accidents behavior consequence responses prompting and um and, and many other um, strategies so if you want to learn more about prompting or reinforces i've done a video on that in some of my previous videos but for the purpose of this this particular video i'll be explaining using an example of how to conduct the speech therapy so for example your your objective for the day could be given or shown a visual card of letter a femi shall visual shall verbally call out letter a or femi shall tact letter a independently remember i said this scriptural teaching involves antecedents behavior consequences prompting reinforcing now your antecedents will be that stimulus the thing you said to the child so you've said that the child will be shown a, a card containing letter a which is a way of prompting the child that is what you're going to say and then you could say to the child a a you show the letter a if the child is having a little bit of problem the assistant and the other end could show the letter a to the child also okay now you want the child to say the word a remember your objective is that the child will say the letter a when you show him the visual letter a now the, the, the behavior will be that the child will say a and if the child does not say a remember we have reinforces which is if the child, child does not say a you don't have to say anything you have to repeat that process again but if the child, if the child says a that means the child has been able to use that word or to say that letter a and then you praise the child either with social praise or whatever kind of reinforcement that you have put in place so to know more about reinforcers about prompting please go to my previous videos and check the topic that says reinforcers or prompting so today i'll be able to explain what telepractice is to us which is the use of technology to teach speech therapy to students online and also said that I, I also explain what communication is to us which is the, the exchange of information using tools such as speech and language which i also defined and then you need to really be prepared to be able to use telepractice to teach a child with speech and communication impairments thank you for watching this video and please do look out for my trainings coming out in the next couple of weeks you find more flyer more details on the flyer thank you Thank you.